It's time for the sword swallowing. What I'm about to do is something very dangerous. Children, I mean it. This is dangerous. Don't ever try this. This isn't like putting beans in your nose. I mean it. <laughs> People would sometimes say, oh, sword swallowing, right, we know how that works, the swords collapse, they go in the handle. No. If you'd like to believe they go in the handle, you're welcome to believe whatever you like. Thank you. This sometimes makes people squeamish, disgusted, grossed out, I'm aware of that. We don't want to see it, we don't want to do it. Do you want to see it? It's all right for me. I've been professionally trained, and also I have this special water from India, from the banks of the River Ganges. Water from India. It's a superstition. It keeps me protected. It makes you want to go, huh? To India. Beautiful mark. <laughs> I did that once a few years ago. At the end of the show, this man came up to me from the audience. He had his arm in his mouth up to his elbow. For real. <laughs> I'm not making this up. I was looking straight at this man. His arm was in his mouth to the elbow. I was like this. And I said, that's impossible. Take it out. The man pulled his arm out. He was an amputee. He had his arm cut off right there. <laughs> True story. I'm not making it up. <laughs> Relax, nothing to worry about, I know what I'm doing. For those of you who don't know what's happening, I'm in full control of the muscles in the throat. The pharynx and the epiglottis. Those are the muscles above the esophagus. That's where the blade goes, into the esophagus. Longer ones later will go further down into other areas like, I don't know, a fallopian tube, I guess, somewhere down there. <laughs> it's all right, I'm protected by this special water from India, from the banks of the river Ganges, nothing to worry about, totally safe, all the necessary precautions. Sideshow had a sword swallower. It's a fact. Today there's two sideshows. I know, I grew up in a carnival family. I used to dream about running away and joining a normal one. I had an uncle who was a fire eater and sword swallower and ventriloquist for a few years after fighting in the war. He then taught my brother and I. Mom was real pleased with that. Brother used to swallow swords, no more. Thank God. He swallowed a sword once it was so long, I tried to stop him, he didn't listen to me. He doesn't swallow swords anymore, no, but now he has a job working in the parking lot, picking up papers. Oh. <laughs> now, here's what's going to happen. The sword will be set in place, I'll then take the hands away. When I feel myself to be in a straight line, I'll snap the fingers, and at that moment, the sword will drop straight into the esophagus. I 
hands up. It's gross and disgusting, I know.